we know that there is high likelihood of burial grounds of the enslaved on that same that property because there were three different plantations on the land which they want to locate the grain terminal. In December 2020, Greenfield submitted an archaeological report stating that no features were recorded and that no further archaeological investigations are recommended. Something that didn't sound right to Joe. Wherever there were, was a plantation, you have burial grounds for the enslaved. A separate forensics team hired by the Whitney and the Descendants Project countered the initial Greenfield report, highlighting several anomalies about the Whitney plantation that are likely burial grounds. When Greenfield's original report was submitted, a ProPublica investigation uncovered a whistleblower who worked on the original archaeological team, claiming that her report had been changed to fit the needs of Greenfield, something that the company denies. Since that report, however, the Army Corps of Engineers has publicly called Greenfield's report insufficient, joining the National Advisory Council of Historic Preservation and calling it into question the original report. The Army Corps didn't just stop at historical preservation either, but also raised concerns on the environmental and health impact the grain elevator would have, a sentiment that was shared by residents. We are already overburdened with particular matter pollution. We are already dealing with the health ramifications of that. We have pollution already from a, an aluminum plant right across the river. Red dust can be found you know, everywhere, your cars, your rooftops, everything. We know what the current emissions have already caused. It's, it's caused cancer to a lot of people. This is called Cancer Alley. Wallace is located in an area along the Mississippi River that is already full of heavy industry, and residents worry what an increase in industry could mean to their health. I am a very health conscious person. You know, I cook differently, I exercise, so I'm doing all these things to help keep me healthy and then somebody's gonna come in my backyard and they're technically gonna be in my backyard. Um, and then they're gonna pollute the air even more. We have an increased risk of cancer. We're in the 95th percentile in the country already because of the pollution. A pollutant is in particular matter. So adding anything on top of that is just dangerous, beyond dangerous. We're already, it's already too much for us. So um, that's the last thing we need. We need, to, we need to talk about cleaning the air, not adding more to it. Greenfield has called their facility safe and claimed that their facility has taken the steps necessary to minimize impact to the environment. But residents aren't buying it. Even as a 10 year old, we saw all of the different ways that these organizations, these companies come in, they lie, uh, they, you know, massage information to where they get it to where they need it. And so, yeah, I, we're very accustomed to the lies and the promises and how they split communities up in order to get what they want. In its argument to residents, Greenfield is promising jobs and economic development. But in an area that is surrounded by heavy industry, the argument isn't really carrying much weight. I'm aware that, you know, jobs are available in many of the industries around here. You see it constantly. They're always advertising, you know, openings for jobs. We are not against economic development. We're against um, dirty, unsafe, unhealthy jobs. And if people need jobs, if we do have people who need jobs, there are jobs all over. Despite all the controversy, pre-construction has already begun on the facility and pilings have started to go in right behind Harriet's house. I can see the pilings from my back door. So when they had the big crane elevator and they were put, uh, driving the pilings in and this noise. And even with growing opposition to the elevator, there's still a bit of worry. I started thinking about it and picturing a grain elevator next to our community. And I would say, well, we wouldn't have a community anymore. We want to live in our community that we grew up in, that our, our, our ancestors grew up, our grandparents, great-grandparents grew up in, that we enjoyed, you know, all of our lives. We want to stay here. Joe knows that the battle ahead will be a tough one. We will beat them, okay? I know that for sure. We will beat Greenfield, but you, I'm, we're going to be maimed after. You don't come out whole. But even still, she remains confident. Your voice means a lot. Your voice is, even if you are one person, that voice is so crucial so no matter what you always have the tools available and that makes a difference and ready to fight to save the community that she 
her family and her ancestors grew up in. In Wallace, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC TV3.